I'm up. I'm up. You like that, huh? Nice ride. Thanks. How much? Excuse me. How much for the car? She's not for sale. You have a good day, sir. Daisy. I lost everything. That dog was a final gift from my dying wife. Jonathan, you got out once. You dip so much as a pinky back into this pond, you may find something reaching out to pull you back in. It's personal. Where'd you get that car? What does it matter? It's not what you did, son. It's who you did it to. The nobody? That nobody. Again? No, just sorting some stuff out. Task your crew. How many? As many as you have. Hey, John. I thought I'd let myself in. People keep asking if I'm back. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. I'm not afraid of John Wick. Uh-huh. How good's your laundry? No one's that good. I thought not. Wow, what a cast. I was just excited when Alfie Allen from Game of Thrones showed up. I was like, Ticket sold, because I love that guy, and I really want to see him get a chance to prove himself outside of the show. Maybe this will be the first step. But then, that wasn't enough. I also got Ian McShane, John Leguizamo, the guy from the Swedish version of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Talk about a supporting cast and a support group for Keanu Reeves. Now, interestingly, one of you asked me uh, when this trailer debuted. I had to wait to review it because it was an IGN exclusive. Uh, but somebody said, hey, Grace, you talked about Keanu Reeves headed to TV. He's going to produce and star in an adaptation of the series of novels, uh, Rain. Uh, why would Keanu Reeves go to television if he has this movie in the works? And I would say this movie is by no means a guaranteed hit because let's be honest, it has a lot of ups and downs even in this trailer. I mean, that line where he says, This was the dog my wife gave me before she died. I was like, wow, that is not only a direct to video line, but that is some direct to video delivery. Uh, now, to be fair, Keanu Reeves has never been known for his acting ability. Uh, he's a fun guy, he has a great uh, personality, a lot of charisma, and then also I think he's very good at delivering action sequences and also working with special effects from from Speed to the Matrix films. I mean, think about this guy's standout movie. So I have no question in my mind that he can pull off the action sequences in this film. And he looks great in his suit, but I don't know if he can deliver the emotional heft that is needed for this kind of formulaic film. And it is a formula. I mean, you are looking at another Liam Neeson wannabe. Liam Neeson has, tre has had tremendous success with this formula with Taken, and he's been able to uh, rely on it and go back to it again and again and again. We're going to talk about it later this week with A Walk Among the Tombstones. But you have The Equalizer coming out this year. I mean, I know that uh, Denzel Washington uh, kind of started this trend himself, actually, with Man on Fire years before Taken, but it never had, that film never enjoyed the success that Neeson's films have enjoyed and that these current crop of films are trying to duplicate. So you have uh, The Equalizer with Denzel Washington, which is supposed to be a big hit. Uh, November Man with Pierce Brosnan didn't work out. And then even Tom Cruise's Jack Reacher tried to follow this model. Now that uh, was a solid success, but not a huge success because where's Jack Reacher too? So we'll see what John Wick does. However, I do feel that Keanu kind of redeemed himself towards the end of the trailer because I loved 
two moments. I loved when he said, people keep asking me if I'm back. Yeah, I think I'm back. And I was like, ooh, somebody made Keanu mad. And then I really liked the exchange with that concierge about laundry or dry cleaning and the concierge saying nobody's that good. Uh, I thought that was uh, really fun as well. So we'll see. I'm curious, which direction do you think this movie is leaning? Uh, because it's by no means a hundred percent in any direction. But which way do you think it might go? Big commercial hit? Cult hit? Movie so bad it's good? Uh, or just a bad movie? Uh, write your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for tuning into my review and you can check out some more episodes right now.